Hey, hey, my people are hello. This is Oyiboy Princess, and you are watching Spotlight on the Buzz TV. No, they go anywhere, bro. Oh. What is that? Uh, I marry a, a rich woman, and we break up. Would they settle me with uh, plenty money? Mugbe. Robinson, this is money. Okay, uh, so my real name, well, my real name is Claire Edge. So what's it like being married to a Niger man? Uh, well, it's cultured, it's traditional. Um, there's a lot that we can take from each other. And yeah, we're, we unite as one. <laughs> uh, yes, I enjoy the culture. Um, in fact, I like to embrace things. So I feel that um, embracing other cultures can break um, bridge, bridges and boundaries. So um, that's what I stand for. So it's good to know. How many apostles are there for you? Oh, 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 why you and my friend go pay inside room? You locked up. Because I say you want to make a true camp for your eye. Nah. Okay, the strangest thing that I have experienced being married um, to a Nigerian man, in fact to Nigeria, because I feel that I've actually married into not just the, the family, um, but in fact everyone. So um, I think the strangest thing would be some of the foods that I've seen. Uh, because I don't think there's anything strange about the culture or traditions. Um, it's just about, um, obviously, when you have understanding of it, you understand. So it's more the food. <laughs> now, this snake where can't bite Robinson. I ain't used tell flog you. I do that! On a plan, don't fail. Don't dive, Ion. It's here. Um, well, the name Oibo Princess actually came around because... Um, I had a lot of friends that called me princess for some reason. I don't really know where it came from. Um, and then the Oibo part was, well, how can I now have one word that means something that only Nigerian people will really understand? So that was where we came about with the white princess. <laughs> okay, well, um, I've been known for a few things in the past. Um, I've been into comedy, I've done a lot of acting, um, I do MC work and support uh, events and things, I also host, so um, yeah, there's, there's quite a varied background that I have. Um, I think the acting is really where my strengths lie um, for future work and that's where I wish to uh, spread my wings, if you like. Um, I'm also very passionate about charity and fundraising, so... That's me. No grief for me to pepe again. Now your papa be ATM and go for me pepe. Thank you. be the cause of all this problem. Okay, so recently we've um, just finished filming ATM, which is Authentic Tentative Marriage. Um, this film was actually filmed in Nigeria um, around different locations. So I flew out there to actually um, be part of the crew and be involved in this project. Um, the film is by a renowned director, uh, Lancelot Odua Emashuen, who, um, to be honest, he's uh, an inspiration to me. He's given me um, an opportunity which I thought was just a distant dream at, at one point. So, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. The film is very good. Um, I feel that the script, as soon as I read it, um, I think you know as an actress or actor whether you can or can't fulfill the requirements of the role. Uh, as soon as I read it, I knew it was for me. So, um, yeah, it stars some really, really good and uh, well-known people such as Yvonne Jegede, Alex Okobu, Francis Odega, um, and myself alongside those three. So, so yeah, a very good film. I think it's got some morals in the story. Um, there's a lesson people could take away. And I think a lot of people can relate to the movie as well. So, good factors to go and watch out for. Um, well, yeah, actually the role was given to me um, with uh, my personal background in mind. Um, funnily enough, Lancelot has even mentioned that the entire script came from um, having inspiration from what I actually do. So the, the f movie itself is very fundamental to me and it means a lot. Um, and yeah, I, I feel that um, the role was pretty much being myself, um, stepping slightly away because um, certain things had happened to me along the lines of what have happened in the film, but obviously I was playing a different character. However, yeah, it's very relatable, so yeah. <laughs> okay, well, comedy and acting, I feel they're a bit like a marriage and they work very well together. 
Um, so I really hope that I can stick with the comedy and also stick with um, acting side of things, whether it be romantic comedies or, you know, just normal comedies. Um, but I do like the serious role as well. So um, I don't think it's all always, always going to be comedy, but I definitely think part of my personality and nature is comedy. I don't think you can take that away. <laughs> well, a lot of my friends actually say that my English accent is disappearing. Can you imagine? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it depends who I'm around and the influence I've got from people. Um, I've actually got African friends, Nigerian friends who are born and raised here, granted, but they are more British than I will ever be. And I think I'm more Nigerian than they will ever be. So, um, the flip side of the coin. <laughs> Four one nine. If you they try do anything smart for my eye, make you not try her. I go use your yash, touch fire. Pull up. Get out of here, man. We are back people, it's your boy Andy, your James, and here is the Buzz Music Video Countdown of the week. Here is where you get the most authentic video countdown of African celebrities or artists you might want to say from all over the world. It's the first weekend of the month and we're sure to come at you with a bang. And that's exactly what I promised you today. But before I start, I have a very special guest in the house and she has gone through a lot. And um, she left home at a very early age, went to stay with her grandma, and she let her help her relocate to the UK. Now she's an award-winning model, doing great things and going back home to help. Well, I want her to take us through that journey. I have Lisette Mebo in the house. How you doing, girl? I'm okay. Hi. Oh man, great to have you back on set. You know, Thank like you for having me. It's like a year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing? I've just been busy working on um, Passion for Motherland. Awesome. And, yeah, and, and a few other projects. So, what's that event all about? Well, Passion for Motherland um, was created in 2013 okay. uh, as a platform uh, that we put together to raise funds and awareness right. and support different charities as was working in the Congo. And yeah, it's just until last year, December, that uh, we have turned it around to become an actual organization with a mission to empower street children in the Congo. All right. So how can people get involved in this project? So we have actually started promoting our fourth annual fashion showcase, okay. uh, which is scheduled on the 20th of August, 2016, uh, at the Holiday Inn Regent's Park in right. London. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, come along, support us, so that we can support the children. And uh, ticket information, everything is at www.passionfmotherland.org. All right. So I got front row, right? <laughs> No, I'll check it out. I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> You're not working out. You know you guys are gonna be there. We're gonna have the bus TV in the house. So. Awesome, man. Yeah. So guys, get tickets. I'll be right there expecting you. So that's gonna be great. But now let's go straight into business. We're gonna count down on mm -hmm. the music video we've got for this week. And I'm so excited about it because as usual, the guys, the fans have put in some great videos today. I'll are you ready for out. this ride? I am ready. So All right then, cool, man. Let's start video number five. Featuring Ram Riddles, man, this track is tight, it's called Make You Come. Man, it's a non African connection on this track, man, I'm feeling it. What do you think? Oh, no, I love it. I mean, I checked out on YouTube, it's like over 190,000 views. Like, yeah, impressive. man, tight, man. I tell you, man, this guy got signed when he was just 13. Wow. And now he's 19 doing bigger things, man. Real tight, man. Thumbs up to you, man. Keep ripping UK and Manchester. I know you're loving him. <laughs> Coming in at number four is Manu Ezo. Man, he's Nigerian based in Germany. He just dropped a new video called yeah. Brand New Day. So if you wake up and you want to light up your day, man, you listen to this track. It's a big summer heat in Germany right now. Everyone's feeling it. It's getting so much love. Have you seen the video? I've seen it. And didn't you say that like in a week you had already like 300,000? Yeah, I did. And that's mm -hmm. very impressive, man. It is. The guy's always a lot of European techno music influence on mm -hmm. this track, but still, man, the guy is doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. And video number three. This is your boy. <laughs> this is your boy. So I'll let you introduce him. Um. Oh, yes. Um, number three is, I'm going to pronounce it in French. Oh, please do. That's yeah. why I, I never went there, you know, because yeah. I can't it's, say um, French. I can't heritier, speak French. Heritier. In English, is that heritier? But I don't know how you say it. But yes, um, <laughs> I'm heritier that. is from Congo. <laughs> Uh, he started as a, in a group, um, okay. and I think he just went solo quite recently. All right. And yeah, this is 
Yeah, I'm really, I'm really impressed. And then the, the type of the music is like rumba, you call it rumba, you know, like Afro beat slow, and then call it rumba, like, yeah. So I love, I love it. Now we're going to number two, I'll throw that back at you. Who's number two? Kiss Daniel. Yeah, Kiss Daniel. Right now, man, it's blowing up, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, you feel that video? I feel it. Great track though. Yeah, Jumbo. great track. Jumbo, yeah, right? yeah, Jumbo. Yeah, that's what it is. And uh, very comical as well. Yes. I think Annie James did a great job on that video, man. They brought everything out. And uh, God, I was cracking up, but still feeling <laughs> the music. All right, it's that time. It's that time. I'm so excited. It's number one time. Are you feeling this? I'm feeling it. Man, I'm so happy for this dude, man. He totally deserves it. It's a young guy killing it in France right now. While I'm talking. Super, super young. He's like, yeah. what, 1995? He's so old. No, no, what do you want me to say now, man? <laughs> God damn, don't make me put my business How out there, you know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about MHD. He's killing it, he's young, as young as me, and he's doing great things in France. So I'm feeling this deal. The video is actually called Nkele and Ter. I don't know what that means, but. Yeah, well, I thought you would help me here. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, he's doing his thing. Everybody wants a bit of this dude. The video is very creative. Um, done by Ken and Ru, and mm -hmm. they did a great job there. So, uh, you guys just keep back and enjoy. All right, guys, you know what to do if you want your favorite video to be on the chart next week. You holler your boy on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, man. We'd love to hear from you. Keep those votes coming. That's it, people. Thank you for coming onto the show. And I love, I love spending time with you anytime. So, I hope I don't have to wait until next year to see you again, right? <laughs> No, absolutely not. All right, you had a good time? I had a good time. Thank you so much for inviting me. Bye-bye, Stevie. All right, now the girl with the swag is going to bounce out. So we'll catch you next time next week. Bye. Well, love. Peace. <laughs>we have come to the end of the show sad as it is for me to tell you this i will say don't worry because we are going to be back before you even blink we're gonna see you next week bye for now guys peace